Sunny Bonani Dume Langsin Chow. I am Judicious Masugu and welcome to Navigating the Streets of Life with Judy. Uh, today's video is about the not so good parts of living abroad. I try and document my life abroad and uh, I want to show a balanced picture of what life is abroad recording this video is the first of uh october let me see i don't know the time but it's past 12 a.m so now i am at the airport and i was meant to travel to south africa because on the 24th of October I lost my one and only best friend uh, her name is Nyame Gamlobeli she was a lover to me she was a soulmate and it pains me so much that uh, I now speak about her in the past but that's not the purpose of this video the purpose of this video is uh, to also show the not so good side of uh, living abroad because uh, I had planned to travel to South Africa as soon as I had the news I notified my company uh, some of you know that I started my visa process again when I went home for holiday so I was still waiting for my ikama and ikama is a residential document it's like an ID so now uh, all foreigners they need to have that uh, document and in the country where I am which is Saudi Arabia you can't leave the country without an exit re-entry visa so in order for you to to leave the country you need to have a, an exit re-entry visa now i couldn't get an exit re-entry visa because uh my ikama was not yet issued i fought I fought tooth and nail because first of all it was delayed that thing it, it takes few days or few weeks mine only arrived like seven to eight weeks later I only received it yesterday and then yesterday when I had so there's a system that we use at work to apply for the exit re-entry obviously you apply through the bank your bank and I couldn't open a bank if you don't have an ikama it means you can't do anything like you don't have an id you can't open a bank account you can't apply for visas you can't basically do anything so now yesterday as soon as i received the ikama number i opened a bank a uh, thank goodness you can you can open bank uh, online here yeah, a bank account online I did that and I was able to pay for the exit re-entry visa. Now I paid for that and uh, waited for the exit re-entry. And then it was issued today. Okay, it was issued on the 31st, like later after school, which is Thursday in its weekend. And I tried to book online. I couldn't because it was already late for the online booking for that same day. I wanted the early hours of Friday, which is now. And I came early at the airport to get the flights. But unfortunately, the flights are full. And also the ones that are available, there's only business class available and I cannot afford it. It's like way, way beyond uh, the money I have, you know. If I had the money, I was going to pay it because I need to pay my respect to my friend. She was the only person that I could boldly say that this one is my friend. We could talk about anything. We would talk about anything and everything. 
to say I am shattered, it would be an understatement. I am beyond shattered. I am beyond head. I am beyond, I don't know. <sighs> Can't pay my last respect. So this is it. Sometimes living abroad, it comes with these challenges. The challenges were beyond me. It's not like uh, I, I did not plan in time. No one plans for death. But I tried, I tried. Dear friend, dear Nyamega, if Niyabona Aponikoyo, like if you guys are able to see wherever you are, you have seen my efforts. You have seen how hard I have fought. I, I fought tooth and nail. I, there's no string and major that I did not pull. And eventually when I thought, okay, things are aligning at the last hour, this happened. And this thing of, a, of ticket, uh, it's beyond me. There's a ticket from Dubai to South Africa, I think tomorrow afternoon, and it's still available. It's just that I can't get a ticket from here to Dubai. All the tickets are above 10,000. Why is it 10,000 to fly from here to Dubai? Like it's just two hours. You know, so obviously not bearing uh, Unyamega, it's going to to leave a huge scar on me. But I trust in the Lord. I I, I do believe that these are His doings, and if it's not His doings, then He, I will have to hold Him accountable. You know, I've dedicated my life to him and every day i pray and say lord take over my life if wena then let it be and i believe that whatever that happens that whatever that comes my way it's him who said yes who put the stamp so yeah i'm really hurt that i will have to return now home just because I cannot afford the ticket. Just because I was delayed by things beyond my control. I couldn't book a ticket knowing where, uh, not having those things because you need those documents to travel outside the country. So, whenever you are trying to make a decision to come abroad, uh, just be prepared man be prepared because we always uh, publish and broadcast the beautiful side of things yo I am beyond shattered like at this point the Lord should just perform miracles I don't know how because now I will order an Uber home it's either his miracles are going to manifest in in in, in 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 the healing and the comforting process it's either his manif uh, his miracles are going to manifest in uh him making a way for me to be in south africa on the second of 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 or second of november but something has to give. Yeah, I wish you all the best. Bye.